following people. Let me refresh the list just to make sure. There we go. We got a couple here. Oh, no. Dalziel uh -oh. submits uh, what an AI written egg really is. You will give me an egg. I will hatch it in my house and bring it to you, she said. As she prepared to begin her mission, Mir was discovered that the pied purring goat she wanted to help had escaped from her garden. Mir went to a neighbor to search for her. Her description to find the animals was captured in a phone video posted on Twitter by the French news channel BMF TV on Tuesday. Do you think the... <laughs> I'm glad you ended <laughs> it right there. That really is what makes that one. Thanks, Delziel. Uh, that's an AI egg. Gohan with the heartbreak doink. Do you think the... I think I'm cute. I know I'm funny. I <laughs> got the props. That drives the fans wild. I got the dinks. That just confused them. Throw cream <laughs> pies. Right to their eyes. I'm just a sexy doink. Sexy doink. I'm not your doink toy. <laughs> doink toy. I'm just a sexy doink. Sexy doink. I'm not your doink toy. Doink toy. I didn't expect it to be AI, like, just written out by a bot. I mean, I could, I, I could, I could do a similar voice like that, but, oh man, I'm so glad it followed through on it. Oh my god, go on, thank you. Holy shit. The doink toy I'm strikes again. The doink toy. <laughs> Oh God! Just, yeah, exactly. I can just pull it anytime I want. Laid with talk to transformer egg. You will give me an egg, Wesker says, giving a stern look to, towards Chris. The shock quickly passes as Wesker is a boy who would be incredibly uncomfortable with putting himself or others in danger, especially considering how everything around him is almost killed or be killed. After a bit of questioning about where he got the eggs. Chris hesitates for a moment, then places them in a metal can that contains a strange beige liquid, which reveals to be several eggs. As Chris leans his head back, looking at the nearby bug, he knows what has. <laughs> again! Again! He knows what has. All the AI readouts tonight are great. Uh, Alright, and we got one video from Skirp. I'm trying to figure out the entire title because it's a long one. I was going to do a wrestling mashup, but my downloader stopped working, so I have this shit post instead. Glowing review. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, okay. All right. I was going to say, that breaks the no nipples thing, but it, it was fast enough. I also do not recognize that, that shit post. Thank you, Scarp. Oh, All right, let's go to break. When we come back, Intelligent Cube for the PS1. I'll see you guys in a bit. It's a dumb one. No shit. Most of them are. All right, let me go get Intelligent Cube.
Okay, I'm back. <sighs> Did Stream Elements completely replace Nightbot? I think, mostly, probably. Man wise, definitely. Uh, in our chat, it basically replaced Nightbot as the main bot to be used. Uh, but Nightbot itself is still around. Question Would you whack the. No! Wacka is innocent! Like, there are some things, there are some things even I would not, like, e there are some lines even I would not cross. Which wrestler had the worst retirement? Uh, Lita. Any non-spoilery thoughts on the cage remind trailer? I'm hyped. There you go. How are you? I'm doing good, Camille. Hawkins a writer? Writer. I've always been like I've always been big on Zach since like he started getting over in 2011. Okay, you can't say Benoit's was a retirement. That's fucked up. That is actually super fucked up, yeah. Mm hmm Even as someone who doesn't follow it that much. Yeah, that's uh. So since you said I have good boobs and thighs, which- Oh my god. <laughs> which one boobs or thighs? Why not both? I, I like how your girlfriend is calling you out midstream. I love that woman. All right. Uh, oh my God. Where do we even start on this fucking list? Uh, <laughs> uh, Glowing Dust, thank you for the bits. Halberdier, thank you for the bits. Just celebrating my 30th birthday, and what better way to celebrate the new decade than watching my favorite streamer? Dealing with exams for vacation, but I believe I'll be fine for him. And happy birthday to everyone else in the chat with them. Good luck to everyone who's getting into exam season. But yeah, just know you have a nice giant break coming up real soon. Nice and giant, huh? Yeah. CJ Blackthorn. <laughs> I like. I know what you're trying to do. No. <laughs> CJ Blackthorn says, "Now wait." And I'm. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> I guess my bait's low quality, huh? It's not big enough. I shouldn't have been drinking from that. <laughs> I thought I'd get you on that one. God damn it. Colin Team NP kills Ryu with kindness and bullets saying, I know like three people beat me to it, but I'm still doing it. You can't stop me. Also, remember when I said I was going to make a pastebin account? Turns out I already have one and just forgot. Uh, I think you are actually the third, but thank you for also killing Ryu. Oh, he's losing all that blood. Oh my God, what did you write? Uh, so fun fact, I actually have a few extra stories I could pull from in case I actually hit a point where nothing interesting happens to me for a while. In fact, I was thinking of posting one last Wednesday. Except I already have my hands full with yet another crazy story unfolding right before me. But before I get to that, I have to go back a day. Tuesday. After a trip to the store, I came back to home to relax and eat. Though normally I'd be working on a Tuesday, this week's schedule was all over the place. And it ended up with me not working until Friday. Now, when I'm not working, I spend 80% of my time on various projects, being besides or besides being a cashier at Wendy's, I'm also a programmer, composer, novelist, crappy one at least, an artist by hobby, all with varying degrees of skill. About a month ago, me and some other people started working on a rather large project, so I quickly entered the habit of working on it while eating in my room. So I grabbed myself some food and a drink, headed to my room, plopped on my bed, grabbed my keyboard and mouse, and started working. After I finished my meal, I went to put my dish in the sink when I noticed that some towels that I left laying by the foot of my bed were slightly damp. I'm prone to leaving glasses of water by the foot of my bed when they're not empty, so I figured I must have spilled something without realizing since there was a glass sitting sideways near that area. I shrugged it off and figured the towels would dry off quickly. The rest of the day proceeded normally. 
Wednesday. The day was normal until about 7 p.m. Before them, I was out for the entire day, but when I came back home, I noticed it. The towels that should have dried up were now soaked. Something was horribly wrong. I picked up the towels, and underneath there was a massive puddle running underneath my bed. I moved it out of the way to reveal a leaking radiator behind it. I called over my mother, who in turn called over my stepfather and ran to get the wet vac. There's a valve on the radiator that's supposed to allow you to turn the water off, but after turning it, the entire valve instead came right out. The floodgates opened. We're now freaking out. Quickly, I run to cover both pipes with my hands while my stepfather runs to the basement and shuts the main water off. With the wet vac, we managed to drain both pipes of the remnants slowly. Considering the fragility of the valve, it was safe to say the solder gave way. No worries, we have solder, flux, and a blowtorch. After an hour, we decide solder, flux, and a blowtorch are not enough to fix our problems, or more specifically, we probably have the wrong type of solder. So we take a ride out, get some flux, and finally confirm that indeed, solder, flux, and a blowtorch are enough to fix the problems. After a bunch of maintenance and to make sure nothing else would go wrong, it was about time to go to bed. So I did the sensible thing and slept in the room full of gas and whatever the heck it was released from solder and flux. That was also wet, cold, and without with the window open. During nighttime at six, minus six degrees Celsius. What the fuck, Colin? Jesus Christ. Thursday, I woke up feeling like utter crap. My heart was pounding, palpitating, and I was wheezing. I was barely able to focus. Another trip to the ER. Yay. Most of the ER visit wasn't exciting. One of the nurses ridiculed me for still working on my laptop in my condition, though. I stayed there for practically the entire day. Turns out my system was seriously messed up from that, but hey, at least I wasn't sick. Friday, well, Jesus Christ, dude. It wasn't over yet because it turns out I am sick with the flu, which only started the show with symptoms today. I called out sick and got an early doctor's appointment, got out of, no out of work, and my mother delivered it, insisting that I should be in bed. So I got in bed and continued working on the project for the entire day. Then there's today, which again, I spent working on the project, and no, I'm not going to rest to deal with it. Jesus Christ, Colin, like, get a bubble to live in. Get a bubble to live in, because holy shit. I don't think you should be trusted with life. I think you need, think you need protection from yourself, or whatever curse you activated. My god, thank you, regardless. Take it easy. CJ Blackthorn says, now wait, and I'm blanking on this if I'm wrong. Bart's home village is called Lix, L-Y-X, right? In the SNES version, his default name is Butts. Butts from the village of Lix. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while that sounds too, dumb yeah. enough to be true, though. I think... I'm, getting, I'm getting yeses in the chat. Yes. And, yep, I've seen a lot of dots in chat of people realizing what that means. Random guy, thank you for the bits. Fairy friend, thank you for the bits. Holy Tardis, thank you for the bits. Her Shadow Man, thank you for the bits. Pro oh, we already read Proton Chugga. Yes, yes, Dust Wolf, thank you for the bits. Craig yes, Toxin says, obligatory show, yes, skitch the alerts donation. Yes, SMX Sonic, thank you for the bits. Peter Persum, thank you for the bits. Team and Isaac, thank you for the bits. Captain Joe, already read that one out. The Crates, thank you for the bits. CJ says, I think we missed this one. That was 888. Yuki says, trigger the alerts? Okay. And trigger two different alerts. Bagel says, Dad, I did a thing. I conquered Alberta. Sound the alarm. Did I miss something? When did you do that, son? Captain Kid, thank you for America bits. Xenomonocle says, was gonna yodel. Remembers that I need to save money for MAGFest. Uh, see you at MAGFest, John? I'll see you there, Xeno. Bruce McGivern, thank you for the bits. Phantom SVG, thank you for the bits. Derek DDH says, you said trigger all the alerts and this one didn't appear yet. That was egg. Bromega says, look, a distraction. It was nice. Kyan Enzo says, speaking of, of Titus, I have two shirts. One says, ah, ha, 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 ha. The other is the Santa laugh. Oh, the ho, ho, ho one's real good, too. Hemi Powered Hero Chow says, who has two thumbs and is in minus 20 degrees Celsius weather in Maine? Not me, because Chow has no thumbs. Well, there you go. Congrats on not freezing cold. Metasonic, thank you for the bits. Foretold Legends, thank you for the bits. Foretold Legends, thank you for the bits. Again, Leech Bummer. Uh, been busy moving stuff all day as I'll be moving down two floors where I live soon to give myself some privacy when I stream. Always great to relax at your streams. Also trying to push myself to catch up, uh, in the writing for my RPG. Then behind, do the life. Enjoy the bigger and better room. Foretold Legends, thank you for the bits again. Uh, Secret Fury, thank you as well for the bits. And with that, it's nice. time for Art Block. Nice and nice. And, and Art Block's a little big, so let's get that timer ready. Uh, yep, starting off there. No, nope, we got the bank. I think some of the variants still haven't shown up yet. Not today.
All right, it's time for me to live up to my family name and face full life consequences. So he had to go. So I saw Half-Life full of consequences and I couldn't help but draw John Freeman. So here we are. Zombie ghosts, leave this place. That story and that video are both classics. Hey, John, I what? Oh, sorry, you go ahead. I still can't believe that was fucking Tom who wrote that. God damn it. Was that one? Well, I don't think that was him. I thought Tom was uh, Doom Repercussions of Evil. I think this is one Wait. of the few that he didn't do. Wait, which one's the one that's like, and then John was a zombie? Yeah, that's that's uh, Doom Repercussions of Evil. Oh, never mind then. John Freeman over here! Uh, someone uh, asked, he's hey, evil genius, Tom. Yeah, hey John, what's the donation level for that new Wario donation? It's a bit only donation, and it's 100 bits and up. We'll trigger a random Wario alert out of like eight right now, and there should be more in the future. All right, timer's on. Is that a... Ooh, is that a Galarian bagel? Yep. Yeah. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I was worried it might be a spoiler, so it shows up on early rounds. So, eh. Anyways, here's bagel as a Galarian Meowth. Also, I accidentally fucked up the tags. Oops. No, you're fine. You got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see two Pokemon. I see why you said that. Yeah. Perfect. Thank ah. you. Oh, here we go. We've got Slime Me. As I promised you in Twitter, here's your accurate monster girl. Yep, there's there's my slime girl. That's pretty good. And then to go with that, here's my plant girl. Here's the second one. Enjoy. I'm wondering if anyone's going to do the other three. I highly doubt it, but it'd be funny. Thank you, Mel. That's the eye cup. Alerne. Plant boobs. Oh, there's our Q cup. So with everyone asking what a Q cup is, here you go. What do you mean they're talking yeah. about bras? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful picture of Q you put there. Alright. Well. Someone, oh, someone says they might try the harpy, and someone else says challenge fucking accepted. God damn it, it was Horizon. Alright, have fun, Horizon. Was that a challenge? It's always a challenge. <laughs> it, it's always a challenge. I enjoy chaos, if you guys haven't realized that. There's the bucket one. Yoshimitsu is an unlucky Oni who is 148 centimeters in height. They have long, bald, green hair and brown eyes. Their bust would fit an A cup. Their first encounter was with a beast tamer who they seduced. I assume I seduced him so I could steal his money. Yes, likely. That's how that works. And here was the still frame of that animation. I wanted to see what that one frame with the bikini looked like, so I extracted it. Anyways, here you go. Thank you. I looked like Charlie Brown embarrassed for... <laughs> for just being spinning so fast and just popping out of the outfit like that. Thanks, Rainbow, for grabbing that. And Freddy, thank you for putting it in the animation. Okay, well, I have finished my little present for you, John, so... Oh, no. Oh, no, I think you'll like this one. It's a little it's a little musical cue for you. How would you like me to send it to you? Uh, send it to me through Discord, and I'll play it here in a minute. You, you got it. I mean, the, 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 the file name is a spoiler, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, I'll, I'll play that after, after our block. I got a timer running. Yeah, you got uh, it. Bagel neck pillow for travel. Tail da dangles off your shoulder. It will brush against you when you are barely awake and freak you out. Sound insert with merps. We'll probably wake you up instead of helping you sleep. Hi, John and Chad. <laughs> Back here with another bagel merch idea. We were supposed to have a different court uh, account, which I foolishly forgot the password to. Anyways, I'm going to inspire around American Thanksgiving with when you and Luca post those pictures of bagel lying down inside of a suitcase, presenting a bagel neck pillow for travel. Or is it just the real bagel disguised as a neck pillow? No one will ever know. Wait, John, are you a Q? That's how I keep shapeshifting. <laughs> oh, speaking of shapeshifting, here we go. I should have known Obi would do it. Last night's oh. Monster Girl exchange made me laugh, so here are some sketches of some Johns. Jumnies is my own, and Lucas trips through the generator. In order, Proton John the Charming Slime, Proton John the Self-Conscious uh, Alrune, Jumney the Defenseless Harpy, Rosa John the Curious Arachne, uh, the Obi, the carefree dragon, and Luca, the obsessive Moo. Re-upload because I forgot to color in Jumny's wings all the way. Oops. The fact that Luca pulled the smallest and flattest Moo that I've ever seen cracks me the fuck up. Honestly, and I'll do the other three at some point. Don't worry, John. <laughs> Thanks, Obi. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I know. Reese was actually mad about that, which to me was I, hilarious. I like how frustrated she is at the picture here, too. <laughs> no, that's perfect. I like how she's short, too. She's like even standing on a crate to keep up with everyone else who's like six to seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. Well done, Obi. Yeah, no, that was that was stupid fun last night. And yeah, it could have been worse. She could have gotten the double A on top of being super short. 
Oh, man. Corbin needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Okay, this might take some explanation. <laughs> Melissa Disney, who voiced Alora and Spyro Ripto's Rage, or Gateway to Glimmer if you're in Europe, also voiced Courtney Gears and Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. And yes, she is related to Walt Disney. Oh, wow. Wow. Neat. Neat. <laughs> I know this wasn't one of the monster girls that John got, but it was the one It was the one I got, so fuck it. Lamia, John. One of the ones I got later was a Lamia, but yeah, no. This is, uh... It's very accurate to how I would be if I was a snake. Thank you so much, Amps. Is that a... That is Flubber. My hand slipped. Oh, I'm Flubber. There you go. Perfect. My hat and everything. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh my... What is happening in this picture? The guys are sharing a hotel room during John's birthday. Tom Buff got both the cake and camera. The bed is just strong enough to hold manly jewels. Buff Tom John, however, has to sleep on the floor. It's very common for someone to get stuck at a certain size and mass for a while, which is why John is as big as half the bedroom. Thankfully, there's enough area for the others to keep safe. I wonder if there was a word for what John was doing with Ring Fit Adventure a while back. It was, it was like a run, but slower. Maybe we can jog our memory on what that word could be. I'm sure someone in chat already rem remembered what the word is. Emil is a confident mermaid who is 219 centimeters in height. They have long, straight, blonde hair and white eyes. Their bust would fit a G-cup. Their first encounter was with a minotaur who offered them a place to stay. I don't know how to feel about this. Well, there you go. I guess that's... Chugga Conroy was a different one, but I guess Emil would be a confident mermaid. Congrats, Emil. Uh -huh. And Timothy is a motherly hall star. So a cow. A uh, cowgirl who is 146 centimeters in height. They have medium length, wild green hair and green eyes. Their bust would fit an A-cup. The first encounter was with the nobleman who they seduced. So basically, same measurements as Reese. Yeah, pretty much. You were not alone, Luca. First time using the brewers, I don't know how it works. Kinda. Anyways, there's more where that came from on my Twitter. Don't know if putting links is a bad idea, so look at my name. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Thank you, Lone. Appreciate it. The Lone Sand Slash. Why are all the cowgirls eight cups? Oh, I've seen... Some people have gotten, like, reasonable-sized cowgirl ones, but yeah, no. Apparently, everyone in my life rolled... rolled a critical fail on that. Action mm -hmm. up. The biggest size I managed to pull off was the Q. Uh, someone said they saw an R, but I couldn't find anything past that. I was getting caught up with yesterday's stream and I got the Tom stage. Didn't want your suffering to be for naught, so have a distraught fish from a fired from a standard issue fish cannon, I assume. Perspective is hard. God damn that fish cannon. Kept clipping me for no for no discernible reason. Oh, here we go. I heard Breath of the Wild, Great Fairy John, and of course I had to deliver. It's beautiful. Thanks, Drops. I love it. No, it's because you took all the boob power. Sorry. I kidnapped it all. It's all for me. I heard that you're a spleen guy, John. Nice to see a man of culture. <laughs> Fun fact, you're not the first person I've drawn a more or less accurate internal organ for. I will leave you without context on that one. It's beautiful, Dolby. Thank you. Oh, Finally, so good. the spleen kink can kick in in full throttle here. You've done great. I'll eat on the spleen. Oh, God. I'm sitting here working on a bigger picture, but when everyone was setting off all the stuff to see new alerts or show how off the other ones made me stop to do this dumb doodle. Enjoy. Thank you, Joe, as I get murdered by bits, as is mm -hmm. the tradition. Is Yoshimitsu with a suitcase of money? He's describing the gift there. Let's see here. Just a little bit of time left on the timer. Another addition to the Johniverse. This here is Mysterious Hero J, a mysterious figure who travels the multiverse to eliminate the other Johns. Did I say other Johns? That was a mistake. Uh, mysterious Hero J definitely isn't John. He's just a hero devoted to ending the oversaturation of Johns in the universe. In all seriousness, this is Mysterious Hero J, who definitely isn't John. I base him off of Mysterious Heroine X from the Fate series, who deals with a similar problem of oversaturation of a single character. I was going to say you were doing Mysterious Hero G, but no, I guess if that's based on, if that's a thing from Fate, that also works. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's a maple syrup. It's a maple syrup slime and a maple leaf uh, alerne. Don't call it a grave, it's the future you chose. Slime John's actually made of maple syrup, though it's hard to get that look to look good. You you succeeded on both of those. Well done, Tiger. Well done. I keep forgetting that the, the plant one, the plant me, is supposed to actually be like self-conscious. So. They're not that big. It's a, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody please get a mop! She needs a container to give her liquid form a consistent shape. 
and she's on the verge of structural collapse. Long story short, I arrive late to the stream to see Slime, Rosa Johns, and Monster Girls galore, and I just think, okay, what the heck is going on? Screw it, time to contribute with my own brand and nutcase. Then I remember that melting is probably not an enjoyable experience. This is the art you get for my lack of context. Lol, enjoy the existential dread. I thought it was hilarious. Because that is one way to look at it. Well done, Radaman. Very good. Oh, is it time for a penguin? It's time for a penguin. Since on the topic of using references came up during the stream, I wanted to share an example of how I use it in a recent submission. References are a vital part of drawing. In any drawing class, you'll find yourself drawing from objects or a model. Working from a photograph is just as acceptable. I don't always have a penguin sitting around. <laughs> That's fair. Yep. Most people usually don't. Uh, as someone who's... Um, wow. My older brother was a, a painting major and master. Yeah, uh, references, including photos, are totally valid. I'll get yeah. that. I'll the go. family is complete. I hope you like it. You can see me getting better at cute kitties the more I crochet them. I'll try to send them after my wedding, as my fiance will have to go back to the U.S. and it'll be much cheaper. Oh yeah, I forgot your wedding's coming up soon. Enjoy that, Fury. Congrats again. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Dan. What was up? Uh, I was basically saying about the penguin standing around thing. Well, not unless you've read Tuxedo Gene, uh, Tuxedo Gene, in which case, the main fucking character is a penguin. There you go. That, that manga is really weird. It's funny, but it's really weird. I recommend it. More attempts at emotes. I tried removing the hat from the first one and with the thinner lines and the original with thicker lines. I also removed the text as per your suggestion. Since the word bigger has multiple meanings in your community, I attempted two, big and bigger. I also had a John and the bigger emote in case it should be more personalized. I use blue that is your color, but it may unfortunately not show up as well on the viewer's background. As always, I greatly appreciate the feedback. Hmm. The big definitely does not work. Straight up, no. no. I can't even tell what that is. Yeah, and same, like same with this. Long. These also don't work. The text ones straight up do not work. It just looks like two lines of blue. The, the, part of the issue is that the contrast between the lower part of the lettering and the black outline is it's too similar, and that can just make it kind of too homogenous, where higher contrast is always going to be a better choice, especially in smaller uh, icons and emotes. Yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, uh, Puppet Master says it perfectly. Gradient text is a big no-no for emotes. Yeah, super doesn't work. Sorry, W. All right. That's gonna do it for Art Block, because my alarm went off. Let's go to Intelligent Cube! Mm -hmm. By which I mean... This menu. And I, yeah. won't have, I won't have muted, unmuted everything. There we go. Yeah. Working. But, yeah, you, you can play what I sent you whenever there's an opening for it, so... Sure, I'll do that as soon... As I get that queued up. Have you heard of the Intelligent Cube's cousin, the dumbass Ahedron? Dumbass Ahedron is... Yeah. I was in a dorm room with a dumbass Ahedron, you know? Do you usually not show <laughs> off videos? I do show off videos. Yoshimitsu, why are you asking? No, because I thought that was... Oh! I thought that was a gift from, uh, for Intermission Wall. That's why I skipped it. A Masahiko ah, Sato production. I'm glad someone caught that I was making the Aqua Teen joke. Which PS2 type do you have, John? Uh, Slim. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's not a cube! Alright, this is what I was just sent by Skitch. The Lonely mm -hmm. 2612. Mm -hmm. You did a Lonely Man cover while we were, while we yep. were doing games. Yep. What what chan what is the twenty six twelve chip? That is the sound chip in the Sega Genesis. I was gonna say I can hear the I can hear the bass line coming in there now. The YM twenty six twelve is the uh, the FM synth that's on the Sega Genesis, and that's why I just called it that. 
I'll say this is a little bit of a rush job because I essentially just took a pre-existing MIDI and did a lot of editing to make it phrase out correctly, but yeah. Still works out good. I like how like the bass line when that kicks in, that's very Genesis. That pretty much came oh, away yeah. at that point. Uh, the, the, the best part is that I have a, a device called, a VST called Chips, uh, Chip Synth MD, uh, Chip Synth Mega Drive, and I actually ripped patches from Sorcery in the game to pull that off to make it have a bit of a Yuzo Koshiro sort of twist on it. So, oh god, and now we're, at, now we're to Intelligent Cube here. It's time for cubing. That's right. To mark, to capture, to bomb, to accelerate. It's been so long, I don't know if I'm going to remember the actual way to play this correctly, but we'll try. Slide to the left. Player. Elliot. That's us, right there. Look at him go. No Mega G-Wolf is in the game. <laughs> First stage. And we got crushed. Oops. Again! Do it again. I love the music of this game. Just... I... Thought you could set multiple ones, but I guess not. Oh, wait. I think I remember how this works. Alright. Starting yep. to remember. Yeah, it, you're, you're basically chaining... I don't think you can do anything with this with that cube. Do it again. What is this king of skill? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that dude makes some great montages. Yeah. Uh, as someone noted here, destroy all the white slash green cubes in the fewest moves in the green square. Uh, press triangle when you're detonating those. Right. And then so in the upper right hand corner, I believe you have an indicator showing the number of moves you've actually done and what the par for the level is. So in this case, you need to clear this stage in three steps to get like a perfect score or do it under in par. Oh, oh, it's in the number of steps that the blocks move down. That's what it is. I forget if I just have to get past them or if I have to clear them all. I think you want to clear them all. I don't know, it looks like you just got past them, that was it. Well, if you get a perfect score, you want to be like... Yeah. See, like, that is a, that is a one-step sequence there, so... Ideally, want to clear them We ran all. out of space. We made too many mistakes. I'm sorry, I get a bit lost when I listen to the music here because it's just so good. All right, now it's going to tell us what our IQ is. 13! We am smart. <laughs> Double digits. Double digits. Double digits. <laughs> I had a video in in the comments that was Yoshi Mr. Tekken 4 ending. I was acting long. I usually don't show videos during Art Block if that's the question you're asking, Yoshi. So, yeah, I don't usually do that. I still think Hwarong's ending in Tekken 4 is the best part of that game. There's no reason to fight. You ain't got one? Well, I do! And then him and, and then Hwarong and Jin beat the shit out of Korean cops. Or, I'm sorry, Korean army cops. How does this game work? You destroy blocks. Yeah. And don't lose. Preferably don't lose, yeah. Yeah. You win by not losing. Mm -hmm. 
That is the sign of a true master. Detonate, thank you. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, shit, but I wasted the other bomb, though. Yeah, I, I hit that one yeah. the wrong time, unfortunately. This reminds me a little bit of, like, some of the stages in Castlevania and Symphony of the Night. How so? Uh, just, just... The yeah, slightly kinda... pompous nature of the music there, it kind of ha brings that in there. I mean, it's not like... It, only sections of it does. Other parts of it have more of like almost like a. No, you only want to destroy those. Oh right, I can't destroy those because that's that causes problems. Yeah. Like th this part, this section of it almost gives me a bit of a Final Fantasy Tactics sort of vibe. I just like the, I just like the music of this game. I've got no clue what the fuck's going on. <laughs> It's it's the best way to describe it is what is the game? It's basically a logic puzzle game where you, the logic is destroying blocks as efficiently as possible here. Okay. So, yep, I think you got this pretty much perfect here. Yep. There we go. Now we're making some progress. Yeah. Dan, I just think it's neat. I just think it's neat. Dan, every time you do show and tell, you, tr you try and show us forbidden memories. I just think it's neat. Uh, uh, Darkfire Yoshi has a note here. The black cubes are called forbidden cubes, and the green cubes are called advantage cubes. Oh, no. I think we just destroyed two rows by that. Oh, so we got the perfect, though. Oh, no, we didn't. Oops. No, because, yeah, destroying black cube. So you might want to destroy that and then let it move forward by a few. Oh, shoot. Oh, I see why you're saying that. Okay, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that might be how you do those. I'm just like, bomb, go! Bomb, do good! Me, I'm <laughs> smart! Me am cube. Me am cube man. <laughs> Mon uh, monster cube girl, you know. Oh, you cleared it. it well, we beat stage one. Progress. Second, Second stage. stage. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. It, it Get it out of me there. Perfect. Oh, that's... Oh, I think that was almost like an outright perfect one. This is a present from me to you. Well, we get the perfect bonus, but yeah, we yeah. Went one turn too what? many. Yeah. Well, friends, I look forward to meeting so then you again. again. Yeah, there you go. I like how as soon as I my internet reconnects, it, I don't always see your wife who's trash. Mm -hmm. All right, I mean, so this... we're getting, in fact, getting a raid. Yep. All right, let's run countermeasures. Oh, that's fine. Engage power measure. <laughs> I clicked mute just as he did that too, so I, so that's why. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> I, I realized that voice would work well for that situation. <laughs> We missed a couple mini raids, so this one goes out to all of those. We missed Fang One Two Ones, we missed So Maria Moon, and we missed Wonderful Wands just then. Or that was Wonderful Wands we, we caught. And Davy BX77 just then as well. Thanks for the raid! 
That voice is great, okay. It's very versatile, okay. I'll give you that. I still have the art transition <laughs> up, oops. Alright, now Skitch, uh, I want you to say intergalactic planetary. Oh my god, that really? <laughs> that's that's not the right voice for that, I need a... Oh, you're right, you're right, you need like a, like a techno re robot sort of thing. How well, do I unpause the game? Oh, can you say B7? Resume, you gotta like reflect resume? Yes. <laughs> you have to confirm that you want to resume! <laughs> press- just pressing start didn't work! I will, Why? I will Darkfire Yoshi has a good point there. There is a section in the, uh... There's a demos in this game under the rules, and it shows up a lot of the really crazy combos you can do later game. Oh man, I hear you're really... Hey, you're already flaunting some of the more advanced strategies here. Great. All right, the voice filter is um, a VST from the same company I used to uh, make that uh, Lonely Man thing. Um, it's called the Chip Crusher. It basically emulates different voice DACs that exist. So in for those that remember me from the old days, the before times, I the would do a speak times. and spell. <laughs> the before times. <laughs> I had like a speak and spell voice I could do on demand, and that is from the same basic technology set. Oh, Skitch, can you say B17 Bomber in that voice for me? Oh, I mean, I, I, I know, there's actually one designed around the Intellivision, so I might be able to get a better one there. <laughs> I, I, need to, I, need, I need to remember which one was the one for that there though? Let's see if I can find it. Come on, screw that one up. All right, we got one bomb ready to go that we can use at a moment's notice. So good. I, I feel like this game has no right to have a soundtrack that slaps this hard. Give me one moment, I'm gonna test something and then I'll be right back. Okay. Soundtrack's so good in this one, though. Right? That's so weird. Well, that backfired. Oh, I saw what you were going for. The Japanese version has more songs on it. All right, uh, now I got the uh, device set up for the request here. Caddy preferred so, no music because it made the game a lot scarier. I guess because uh, that I could see that helping you focus, but I really dig this soundtrack. Like this is the music is so good. It's just for me. For me, sister, they clearly put a lot of production values in producing this music because it's a live orchestra, uh, and it's just like for a PlayStation One title Shit. like this. You know, but anyways, to follow through on that request that everyone had for, uh, I believe you wanted me to say B seventeen bomber. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> Shit. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, also the the Intellivoice, which was the actual, you know, yeah. the actual thing. I have one sitting on my shelf over there, so. The Japanese version got the IQ final version that includes more puzzles and 
endless mode and support for the pocket station? Yep. Yeah, good old wow. pocket station. Okay, the only game I know that actually had, or there's only like a few games I know that got pocket station support. Um, Forbidden Memories, obvious for obvious reasons. Um, uh, I think the Final Fantasy, I think Final Fantasy 8 and 9 had it? Yes. Which one was it? Uh, pocket Station. Uh, oh, eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. 8, eight definitely you know, did. Yeah, you oh, killed. sweet. I, just... I know, I, I, I... yeah. I know 8 definitely did. I just don't remember if 9 did as well. But uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories had Pocket Station support as well. Yeah, exactly. The Exodia Machine. Because, um, fun fact, you cannot actually legally obtain uh, all five pieces of Exodia in the U.S. version of Forbidden Memories. Uh, so, uh, a little bit of trivia. Someone mentioned about the composer for this game. Um, so the composer of this game, Takeyuki Hattori, um, worked on the Ark the Lad game franchise, but is also known for his work for Great Teacher Onizuka, um, worked on some of the live-action Godzilla films. Um, he also did music for... What else we got here? Martian Successor, Nadesico, um, and Slayers. So, like... Wow, Slayers. Yeah, the, Sl the Slayers anime films and OAV series was what he worked on. Oh, I love those growing up. Those were great. Me too. I have the... Slayers is like one of my favorites, so it's... <laughs> it was the first series I actually went out and got like the DVD box sets for when I was younger, so... Same. I had, I had uh, Slayers and Try but I didn't have Next for some reason. I couldn't find it anywhere. I, I had Slayer's Next and Try, and Slayer's Next just, like, was for the longest time my favorite opening for anything. Just give a reason was just so fucking good. <laughs> so good. Yeah. So, like... Hell of a bonus there. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't make too many mistakes on that run, to be honest. The comp... Given the fact when Intelligent Cube came out, this guy was not very old when he worked on this either. Yeah, he was about 32 when he worked on this. He's also classically trained from Paris. He went wow. to the Conservatoire de Paris for his composition studies. So, yeah. Fuck, that's gonna mess up things. Ah, oh, damn. Uh-oh. How much room do you have to work with? No, we still got room for now. Yeah, you got room for now. I mean, there's a little bit of leeway as long as you're not making, like, constant mistakes. Oh, fuck. Uh, I timed that one wrong. Yeah. I timed that one way wrong. Uh, yeah, I yeah. saw what you were going for there. Oh, and I yeah. grabbed the wrong one of these, too. I'm just going to... This this run's just fucked. Well, I think it'll still be... Let's see if you can survive it out. This is the last wave of it, though, I think. No, it's not. No, it's the last wave it's of the, the first, first part of it, yeah. Yeah. Call that clean, yeah. but I would call it working. Yeah, it at least was a error-free one. So let's see here. Do you have enough room? Yep, still. Whew. IQ Final also had a creative stage. Cool. Yeah. Like this franchise, I just find so fascinating because Sony in Japan like really cares a lot about this franchise. In terms of how many times you had re releases for it and otherwise. Yeah, because PIQ no. is also a sequel to this, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. Does the P happen to stand for perfect? Uh, I think it stands for pocket IQ. Practical uh, Intelligent like Condition is actually what it's. Oh, that's right. For. Practical, right, right. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, I hate everything about this setup. This, uh, setup's a little rough. Oh, come on, really? Uh oh. Mm. We're gonna miss one. We're gonna miss just one. And that's gonna cost us a row. Well. 
Oh, right, no, we can make X Men a mistake before we lose the row. That's what it is. Yeah. So, honestly, that's not the worst outcome that could have been. Ooh, but that is, though. Fuck. Uh oh. Well, I think just, just take, that, take the one hit and then just kind of go from there. We are, we are almost out of room. Oh my god. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Yeah, we got a problem. Yeah, I think, well, wait. I think you can get a little bit of leeway here, but... I'm fucked. I gotta do it. Nope. Ah. Uh, again! Damn. Almost. Let's see what the IQ is well, this our time. Our IQ has gone up. This game to 107. Really cool, That's a lot better. That's above hey. average. That's better than 13. Yeah. Better than, better than the rock we were earlier. I, oh, you want to see what the, the demos are for this? <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, I think I remember God. those. So, yeah, let's... You basically got the gist, I, gist of the gameplay out of that. So, let's go to... Rules? I think it's where you're going to go, actually. I think you're right, actually, yeah. Let's go to demo, demo yeah. three. Let's go to demo three. I think yeah, that's the crazy one. Let's go all the way, yeah. So this is showing off basically the types of strategies you have to employ to beat some of the later stuff. Gosh, this is gonna go off. It's <laughs> like. I hate that one that's just in the center of all that black cube. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks rough. Yep. He's letting that one slide through pretty far, though, down in the front there. I'm, I'm a bit impressed. Does he have enough room? He just enough. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh but how's he get? God. Oh my God, he's gonna pull it off. I know it's a demo, but still, yeah. God damn, look at that. <laughs> That's. That is a. And then let's see what the next one is. Just like. No, that's it. That's just the demo. Oh, that's just that one. Yeah. Let's, let's look at demo two. That's what man, you're supposed that's... to do, man. That's how you get that 300 IQ. That's how you get that galaxy brain. Finals. You can just galaxy brain those cubes, okay? This is galaxy brain the video game. <laughs> oh, this oh, looks good. This is going to be great. We're going to watch this chain reaction. This is going to be so satisfying to see, though. Just look, look at that. That's so oh, satisfying. Yeah. That's so satisfying. Mm. Like, I'm pretty sure if you play this enough, you start being able to see so many steps ahead fairly easily. Clean. So clean. That's some, that's some fresh moves there, buddy. God, that's so good. And it's just like a demo one. I'm sure that's just like an earlier one then, though. But yeah, no, if you want a pretty good puzzle game, yeah, and you want to get a absolutely. cheap one too, just buy a PlayStation Classic. It's probably 10 yeah, bucks, I mean, and this is yeah, on but, it. Yeah, and, and honestly, this is a game that's not terribly hard to buy the PlayStation Classic's bad emulation. Yeah. Hmm. 
Look at the video of the final stage. We already did. We just did two of them. Yeah, we did. We were doing them in reverse order, so we're yeah. going to the progressively less galaxy-brained versions. Oh, jeez. So... So clean. Oh, this one, this one gets to do a full set instead of just the one giant wall, so... So I think I know what's going to happen. So do an immediately trigger. Yep. And then hold on that detonation. Hold on that advantage, rather. Two more that steps. That was a really good bomb, though. Oh, my God. There yeah. It is. There it is. And then we two One, steps, two, and clear the rest. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it tells us it might be on PS3. I think? I think or, or Vita? I think. Let's see if it got re-released yeah. on anything replaced like classic. No, it actually might have only been. Amazing. Yeah. Um as no. Intelligent Q was I... re released on PlayStation Network in Japan and Europe. So we didn't get it. Oof. Also no there's the Japanese version called IQ Final, which is basically almost entirely in in English anyways, and has more stuff and more music. Alright, what was the... Do you remember the game I was going to look up earlier to see what the price on it was? Intelligent Cube is going for about 37 bucks, 40 bucks US right now. Oh yeah, Dokkapon Journey and Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, this is the yeah. Googling theme song, apparently. It's very dramatic. Kurushi final mental blocks. Is Journey a uh, local player or does that online? Uh, local. It's a DS game, so they weren't really too hot on online at that point. Damn. 82 bucks US for Dokkapon Journey Complete. The cartridge itself is about 45 bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Well, well, comparatively. But keep in mind, to do it, we... So you can do single player cart. You can do single cart with Dokkapon Journey, but it's very limited. The area you can go to is much smaller, and not all the shopkeeper pitchers load. So you just get, like, empty tables instead of, like, whatever this game's version of Hans is. Oh, yeah. We fucking tried to do... Didn't we fucking try to do single-player cart for, like, a cookie choice on stream for, like, half an hour? We did, and it was a disaster. It was a goddamn yeah. disaster. Because the AI kept cheating. But I got to be a Valkyrie, oh. and that's all I cared about. Uh, and I got about owned. Dokemon Kingdom for PS2 is about 55 bucks complete US. But for Wii, 105. Oh. That's actually Add lower than I thought at this point. But yeah, 100 bucks US. I thought it was going to be like 110, 120. Oh, Forbidden <laughs> Cube. All right, mm -hmm. let's go to the cookie. Yep. Yeah. Sketch, you get two choices. One being Stretch Panic. What's your other one? All right, let me get. I, I had one I came across. It, it's gonna be equally stupid. Where's the Friends. backlog repage I had pulled up here? There we are. Um, all right. Have you done twenty four the game? No. Done. Let's do, let's do it. All right. Stretch Panic for PS2 and 24 the game for PS2, as in as in Jack Bauer's adventures. Alongside, oh Dan, you still get the pick. You get the pick again now. Um, uh, let's go with Ready to Rumble Boxing Round Two on the PS2. Wait, actually, wait. Do you have the PS2 version of the N64? I know you have the N64. I don't think I have the PS2 one. Uh, let's go with N64 version then. All right, Ready to Rumble Boxing Round Two for the N64. I, they're all, I'm getting all confused in my head now. 24 of the game for PS2 and Stretch Panic for PS2 alongside the following five games. Game number one. The Addams Family Pugsley Scavenger Hunt for the Super oh, Nintendo. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why oh, no? Why are, why are we oh, knowing this? This game is trash. Oh, I didn't know we were oh, knowing this. Okay. I, I own this game physically see, see. on a... See, now if I say, oh, no, I have to think about that whole, um, the soccer game. Like, oh, no, oh, goal. See, I played oh, yeah. this as a kid, 
I didn't think it was that bad. I had a friend who rented it a bunch. It was hard, but I didn't think it was that bad. Game number two. 